Welcome to episode four of season three. I got finished watching it not too long ago, and we're going to watch it again together. Play from the start. Prime original. Let's jump in. What have we got? We've got the intro, probably. Yep. Well, I'm going to gonna sit through this and hope that I don't get a copyright strike. I mean, so far, it's not been too bad. I have not had an issue so far in an episode. Fingers crossed. <laughs> James wears glasses. Very nice glasses. I pretend to be a dog. <laughs> and a terrorist eats a savory snack. This is one of the episodes that I was really looking forward to. When I saw it on the trailer, it looked fantastic. Thank you. Now, throughout the developing world, people have for many years used Japanese-made pickup trucks. Yes, but now European car makers have decided they want a piece of the action. Straight so out. With pick trucks European pickup trucks. Yes, they have. And it's stupid. Any good, this week, After we seeing American and dri uh, not driving. But actually, I've driven an American pickup truck. In the Middle Ages, it's stupid. Which meant going to Richard Hammond's garden. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite funny, actually, as well. So, the, the, your, your old England what it reminds me of. I imagine a, cas a castle is going to come flying. A dragon is going to come flying around the corner in a second. Piling up the bodies. Yes, the old England. Developing world. This is not how the in developing the world looks. Globe where there's no mains water or electricity, a pickup truck has to be more than just transport for plague victims and livestock. I thought this bit was quite James clever, actually. Turned his Mercedes X-Class into a power station, using its rear axle to make electricity for the village. <laughs> Richard, meanwhile, was using his Ford Ranger as a tractor, pulling a plow. I wonder if these are people they actually cast in I was using as extras. This Volkswagen Amarok as an irrigation system. Or they decided. I'm to use the camera to <laughs> drive a pump which will deliver nourishment from the well to the community allotment in fact it's pretty obvious what's going to happen coming now above the smooth turbocharged throb of my V6 diesel Johnson! <laughs> send the car off <laughs> oh what they missed the best bit what was that <sighs> oh dear and uh, and uh, and I've done my They cut out the best bits. I, I shouldn't have mentioned how they left the whole episode in last time. We've done it. We've proved all three of them. Yeah, no, I have. I've sawn three pieces of wood for a fence. Hammond's ploughed four furrows for growing things in. You have only subtracted from this community. I think you've slightly Why? missed the point. What? Why do you always have to overdo everything? The context doesn't make sense Why? because you've ruined it. I'm sorry, I'll stop complaining, but please, stop. <laughs> Well, yes, apart from the fact that it was designed in Australia and it's built in South Africa. What about the engine? That's made in Turkey. That's European. Well, a bit of it is. <laughs> well, yeah, let's not get bogged down with where Turkey is. What we've done is prove that all three of them work well when there is peace in the village in the developing world. What we must do now is find out how well they work when the peace comes to an end and there's a revolution. <laughs> You remember the giant heads? Straight away, you already know the heads are actually being used in this episode. And when the yeah. revolution is over, it's important that all traces of the vile, hated dictator are eradicated. <laughs> and that's why I'm attaching my Mercedes to this giant statue of Kim Yong Clarkson. Let's <laughs> see if I can pull it over. I feel like this is such a waste of these magnificent statues. I would put this statue in my garden. Right, here are the rules. I have to do this using the lowest revs possible. So what I'm going to do is put it in four-wheel drive, low range, something Jeremy Clarkson can't do, first gear manual, and turn the traction control off. Here we go. <laughs> I guess we're going to pull down the statue of Clarkson. Lock, yes, amazing. I have a worry from the mentions. I, I did this before. I, I, it took me how long? Do you remember? I don't remember how, how we did it last time. Come on! Get going! We got a silver. That'll do me. I have a worry that one of the cars in this episode isn't going to be here. Just like the McLaren Senna. <laughs> He's gone! 
That was just <laughs> oh, oh, right <laughs> on your <laughs> dunk. What a feeling. Oh, I bet that did that. That oh, was just. That is in the face. Yes. By the whole earth. Yes. <laughs> in the face. Do you see what happened to your nose? Yes. Look at it. Yes. And now, <laughs> it's your turn because. Mm, 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 yeah, matesy tongue. <laughs> Okay, so we're next pulling over right. it's time James May to end. Three, with the two, same. See if we can get it to work again this time. Do we just like... I don't know what we do if I'm totally honest with it. I just seem to drop revs and that seems to do it. Come on, I need gold! Yes! <laughs> All right. He's dragging you. He's taking you for a scrape. <laughs> This is just unfair. Poor James May. What did he ever do? Nice one, Hammond. The Ford ding. I'm I'm very used to hearing that sound. The scores so far then looked like this. James used 2,100 RPM to topple me. Whereas Hammond it's funny because this is actual Brendan useful consumer and advice. 3,600 RPM. To bring down May. <laughs> and now it's time for me to win as I get rid of the last of the country's hated dictators. Dick Pot. <laughs> you may know something a little bit different about this one. And there we are. It's <laughs> oh, now come on! Why you shouldn't have built a life size one. You are a man of modest stature, but I reflect my ego compared to yours. Well, it's, it's the perfect size. The size of the tyranny. I don't think I'm going to need low range. You haven't got it. Well, I know exactly. I don't need it. Lock the rear diff. There you go. You'll need that. Right, here we go. Ready? See, if I was going to get a pickup truck, it would be an American one. For the reason that we have stupid, really at most, V6 diesels. Three, two, one, See, if I wanted a pickup truck... Look at that! <laughs> I've won another test. I won both of them. <laughs> Where that at? Well, 600 RPM, okay? And I did the best in the village. You destroyed the village. Listen, let's not get bogged down with that. 600 RPM is probably the rolling, rolling of this, isn't it? <laughs> in the country after the dictator is gone. <laughs> this seems really like brutal to. Oh, are we actually? Yeah, we're running away with our goods. Yes. With the government in you've disarray, seen, you've seen this on the trailer to too. All our worldly goods into our pickup trucks, and prepare to run for our lives. <laughs> Everybody else in the world has an iPod. Look, I don't think you've got, got a gramophone there. for. It was my grandmother's. We're fleeing from rebel forces. You don't stand here doing a commentary. Get in your truck. I'm ready to flee. Right. Perfectly straightforward. Whichever one is the fastest from here to the flags there. Yes? Yes. Best at fleeing. Yes, they call yes, yes, exactly right. So it's, it's a, a drag race. It's a flea race. It's a fleeing race. Let let's flee then. But is it oh, fleeing with the stuff intact or not? If because there's two ways you could go out this. Government forces, you need an Amarok. Not to 68 seconds. That's I wonder how they're going to do this territory. one. My main thing it's about this game is like, I wonder how the they're going to the do the in-game version of what already happened the because they've got to the render all of this. Now, but it was. Have they actually got the stuff? Oh my god, they've got the stuff. They've got the stuff! Is it going to fly off? It's not flying off. I'm going 60 miles an hour, how is this stuff still on? It's all still intact. Nothing's going to fall off. That's just disappointing. Come on! See, they've got like one thing left on their cars at the end of this. And a broken wing there. And it's got his hazards on for braking so hard. And his pottery. See, it was, it was like... I was wondering, are they could they possibly render something like that? They could have done a better job than that. Just make things drop off. Just a few things. That would have been... Would have been great. <laughs> Bicycle? This is our new life, chat. This is. <laughs> was it like a hairdresser's? Like, I don't even know what it's called. Gonna I'm gonna start again. I know we've got a chair. You say that? Oh, we're gonna be alright. I literally think we're okay. Yes. So let's just get this crystal clear. Okay, we haven't escaped with much, but the Volkswagen has now won all three tests. Who decided that? Me. 
Yeah, but this isn't a dictatorship anymore. We topple the dictatorship. <laughs> yeah, it's a it was the fastest by a mile. Yeah, it is. It fast. was easily the best at pulling over statues and the best at water irrigation. No. And you may have got there first, guaranteeing your survival, but you have no life. You I have half a table and a mattress and the worst album in history. You really have I have got there. The you call this the first album The merits of the Yes album aside, the fact remains some that stuff. the country they can go now and in chaos, pick it up. help is urgently needed. The aid workers arrive. Wait, what? So, how would our commandeered trucks cope with their requirements? I don't know if I remember this bit. Quite well, actually. I think this is a whole new scene. That was a whole new scene for the game only. Unless I wasn't paying attention. And now, uh, if I may, I'd like to talk about the Jaguar XE, not your hair. Please. Um, it is a really very nice Please tell me that they have this car in the episode. I will cry. It's particularly expensive. Uh, it rides beautifully, very beautifully, in fact. And as a result of all that, people ignore it and buy a BMW instead. So, Jaguar went to its Skunk Works, which is based in a shed, and they said, could you make a fast version? One that will get everybody talking. I'm begging. I am begging that we get to drive this car. The standard low cost procedure for turning a normal. It's one of the coolest cars I've seen on this show so far. Like, I didn't even know it existed. That's what I like about this sometimes when it shows you cars. Six engine. Didn't know. And maybe some bucket seats. But the boffins and Jack decided to go a bit further than that. Please. Oh, <laughs> look at it. That is a Jag. That's what I think when I get it. When I want a Jag, Welcome when I one day come to get a point where I can get a Jag, this is the type of Jag I would like to see. Eight. Beautiful. I didn't even know this thing's in. It looks like a race car on the road. I honestly love that. The sound, the look. The they've removed his, all of his voice. That the only bits that these two cars have in common are the roof and the front doors. Come on, please don't it let me down. Don't, please let me drive it. It didn't mention the car's drivable. This wasn't in the car's drivable list. Oh yes, that was changed as well. It now has Bilstein dampers that cost a thousand pounds each. That's and crazy. Rose joints and ceramic wheel bearings. Like you get on a race car. Oh, come on. <laughs> What? No, that's not fair. Guys, look, if you don't have the budget to, to, to make the game, why do this? This is just unfair. Are you taking the mic? What? I'm I don't even know what to say. And this is the bit I was most excited to be playing. The pickup stuff is pretty cool, but... What? I'm doing my best. I'm doing me absolute bet. This is ridiculous. <laughs> like, I was expecting to, to fall in love with this amazing Jag that I would have the first time experience driving on a game ever. That's a wall. It's all wrapped up, so it doesn't even matter anyway. Does it even look like the real car? Honestly, this could pass as the real car. <sighs> the budget of this game. <laughs> what is it? Is it lowered? It, it appeared that it is lowered. We've got how many laps of this thing? I think we've got a chance for another couple laps, maybe, if we if we put the hammer down. But the Jag, fantastic looking, sounding, driving, by the looks of it, car, because obviously I don't get to experience the real thing. And even if I did, it's not exactly the most accurate game in the world. But, again, it is a fantastic looking car. I, I had a pro I have a problem with with Jaguars is that I love them I do I, I would love an all-wheel drive V8 Jag that's like that would be great I would be officially a fully Britishman but maybe when I'm old I'll have to do that but anyway the point is this costs I think it was a hundred and fifty thousand pounds 
Just a lot. Uh, and <laughs> at the, sa the same time, yes, it comes with all the stereotypes and such, which is a bit of an issue. We've got eight seconds, which means we've got one more lap to get the gold. Come on! Four, four seconds, it's not, it's not going to go off. And the issue is, I don't fit in the fancy jags. <laughs> I tried to fit in the, the, the jag, the... I think, I don't know what model it was exactly that they had the uh, version of it, but the F-Type... I don't fit in it. I honestly do not fit in that car. It is small. My, my, not even just my, like, my hair was depressed to my head. And I couldn't lower the seats anymore. I, I, I guess, you know, potentially you could. It was a lower end model. It was probably like, I don't know, probably a two cylinder they do by now, but I couldn't fit. And that's kind of number 101 of owning a car. I should probably fit in it. I got silver. There's the actual car. Look at it. Gearbox also needed beefing up, and so did the four-wheel drive system. It's perfect, and then they had but to get rid of the spare it's wheel not. And the well in which it sits to fit some underfloor aerodynamics. And then when they added up the cost of all the work they'd done, there was a problem. In order to make any money at all, the Project Eight would have to cost. It's crazy money, but it's it's just so sad that we couldn't actually drive it. There's a lot of cars in this game that were potentially in the future of cars that we couldn't ever drive before being in this game, and that to me was a selling point. How mad would you have to be to spend a hundred and fifty thousand pounds on a car that was designed and built in a glorified shed in the Midlands in about eighteen months? And the simple answer I think is, I'd go with the GSF though. Not mad at all because this car is fan bleeding tastic. In my head, the GSF is the way to go if you want a four door car. V8. In the UK, they cost about 30 grand right now, which is. And the traction control is turned off. For a car, a V8, power like that. If you go beyond the limit. One day when I have children, I will have a, r a reason for a GSF. <laughs> and the GSF will be at the top of the list. I don't need an SUV. What do you think I am? A so soccer mom? No. What do you mean I had an X5? Shut up! We're again trying to get the drifts. The drifts going. The drifting is... Well, it's, it's going interestingly. Obviously, it is all-wheel drive. So... When Clarkson was trying to slide it around, he's trying to slide it around like you would in a rear-wheel drive car. But it's not exactly going to drift in the same way, is it? Obviously not. I'm actually rubbish at these drift ones. I don't understand what I do wrong. Other than that, I am bad at the skids. See, I'm supposed to be the superman, and I'm supposed to be able to do the skids for you, ma'am. But unfortunately. I can only get a bronze. The answer is to stay See, like, correct yourself. Like, no! I will all-wheel drive! At normal it's road speeds car. with the car in comfort or even dynamic mode, it's as quiet and as civilized as a Jag should be. The display reminds me of it Audi. It has little springs sitting on top of the bigger springs to give you a more comfortable ride but everything's relative really i mean it's not as comfortable say as lying in a hammock on a summer's day listening to wood pigeons <laughs> but it does have air conditioning and a head-up display and electric seats so it is more comfortable than you'd expect it's still a usable car can you imagine seeing in one fact, of those pull up behind you on the motorway you would move you would move. We shouldn't be surprised by that because the last time something was designed and built quickly in a glorified shed in the Midlands, it was called the Spitfire. And it won the Battle of Britain. Also, can I just note that I, I'm super glad that the the reasonably well not the reasonable the the guest segment is gone. 
hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The Spitfire. Yes. It was the hurricane that won the Battle of Britain. Well, it just wasn't. No, it just was. There were far more of them. It was easier to build, it was easier to repair, it was easier to fly. Yeah, it no, was. But that's like saying that a Nissan Duke is better than a Lamborghini Aventador because it's easier to build and there are more of them. No, it's not like that at all. It the, is. The Hurricane was a much more stable gun platform in the hands of a novice. The Hurricane accounted for more enemy aircraft than all of our other air I know, but I have no idea. Yes. It won. But the Spitfire, okay, the Spitfire looked glamorous. So you'd look up from the sky and then that improved morale on the ground because people were going, oh, wow, look at that. We can't possibly lose yes, this. but morale didn't shoot down enemy aircraft. The Republicans <laughs> did. Yes, and nobody even got a small boy looking out the window. Wow, look, there's a Spitfire up there and I'm going to join the RAF. And that's what we need. You didn't want to fly a hurricane because it looked like a sad basset hound. No, it didn't look like it a sad didn't. basset And anyway, the best, the best fighter aircraft in World War II was the Messerschmitt 109. Everybody knows Well, that, that didn't win the Battle of Britain, did it? Well, to be honest, yeah, no idea. <laughs> I would like to to jump into the conversation, but again, I have no idea about any planes. I hate to make this whole thing sound like, I don't know, a car show, but can we get it back to the Jag a bit? Please? Yes, because I don't want to talk to him anymore about okay. aeroplanes. Okay. okay, remember the Jag. <laughs> yes. Is it a mainstream car? No, no, if I'm honest, it isn't. They've only made 300 of them, and they're all left-hand drive. What, so they went to all that time and trouble to develop? And expense, yeah. And now they're only building a handful, and they put the steering wheel on the wrong side. No, it is, it is very odd. Missed but opportunity. Could have given the pants one. I would have taken it. I do it. think we should find out how fast it goes around the Ebola drone. We're going around the Ebola drone in the wrapped-up car that looks... I don't even know how to describe it. It looks like a missed opportunity. That's what it looks like. We've got the lady driving. Which is doing some interesting voiceovers. It does sound like the voice... The, the, the sound just phases out and it kind of bugs me a little bit. The way they've done the sound. It's the, it's the pull. You could have done a better job than that. Like it just sounds weird. And I don't think I've ever actually heard her speak when she was driving one of the cars. Because she's focused on the driving. So why is the woman now giving us... Ah! Let's get going. And let's get going and all this kind of stuff. I don't know what she sounds like. I think I've heard her speak once in my life. Except in this game. There you go. To buy the Grand Tour game, if you wish to hear Abby, the woman, say a few words. I just missed the goal. Can you believe it? I'm disgusted. So it wanted me to get a minute. Anyway, uh, that's the top ten of our leaderboard, and which is the fastest of any car ever around that track. I have set the best time. That's a big problem there. The track is not the right size. Hang on a minute. It's faster than a GT3 RS. Good God. So close to the V10 Plus. That's ridiculous. It is the Spitfire of cars. I mean, it costs the same. So hold, hold, leave it. Hold more. Hold steady. And relax and carry on. Tonight, we are finding out, is this right? Tonight, <laughs> we are finding out how the new breed of European pickup trucks would fare in the developing world. And we've learned that the Volkswagen is the best of the lot. No, we didn't learn that. Well, we did. <laughs> it was the fastest and it was the most powerful. It's yeah, the one you probably see the most. In the country where that and the Ford. And we don't see yes, a lot of them. Whatever, but... okay, whatever. So far, we've seen what happens when the peace ends and the dictator is toppled and chaos ensues. And now we pick up the story with what typically happens after that. Big cannons, tanks, military intervention. You're welcome. Okay, here's the situation. There's a power vacuum now. Foreign armies are pouring in and it's our job to get this fuel to the nation's helicopter. And then the villagers can be strafed. Really? That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> to that end, we have got to go from here to this forward operating base. Is this open world? This would be a nice opportunity. Is the winner. Considering they don't have the Jag, I'm assuming not. Having saddled up, we waited for the sound to charge. And then naturally, all set off in different directions. <laughs> they just don't yeah. sound good, yeah. do they? 
It's like... It's, it's like in general with cars in the UK. The type of people to rev you are... Three and <laughs> two, three and four cylinder vehicles, which is oh, it's it's slightly open. I mean, we did have a slightly open area before. We're collecting things instead of actually delivering the fuel, though. Hills and dales. I guess hills in the dales. Are we in the Yorkshire Dales? Something. I don't know what the Yorkshire Dales is. I've just heard the name. They've designed a nice open plane for us to drive around. Don't exactly do much with it. It's interesting. It, it is super interesting to see where they're going to go with this game. I keep saying that, and it's not the best game in the world. It's definitely not. But I'm grateful. Oh, it's actually a maze here. I'm grateful that that they they can do something like this because back in the day, this would have been like the best game in the world. I get to copy what I can do on TV. <laughs> This test, if you think about it, it is rather pertinent that we are filming this in the UK because a couple of years when Brexit has really caught up with us, there will be a civil war and you <laughs> will need pickup trucks to drive. Well, I will keep that advice noted, Mr. Clarkson. I shall buy an American truck, though. I will buy something from America Land. I have seen some Raptors online on Auto Trader because, let's be real. Who doesn't look on Auto Trader? I'm definitely, I, I would definitely go for a Raptor, something like that. Something actually stupid and powerful. I wouldn't go for the Europeanness of, oh yes, let's make a truck because Americans are doing it and they're doing a good job. Yes! But it's okay. I don't think we will dissolve into some kind of civil war. But if we do, I'm prepared. I will. I could buy a Hummer. I could buy something sh stupid just for the sake of it. This is a nice open world area. I think it's the exact same as the last one, which doesn't really matter because they would be driving in the same area. I save having to drive all the way around the end of it. There I come. Oh, I have a compass. This is a piece of cake. I do wonder if they were just driving around in circles for the majority of this episode. It would probably make sense in my head. Yeah, I'm not either. We've got... Is it got... I just hit a tree. Have we got, like, physics on the barrels? I think I saw them, them bounce independently a second ago, but it might have just been the camera movements. So that's clever camera trickery. I don't think the barrels move whatsoever. They ain't jigging around. They couldn't make a chair fall off the bloody truck, so I don't know. And I wonder if they've made these episodes in... I imagine they, these episodes are ready in advance before. Like, they're not currently developing some... They're, about, you know, finishing off some of the episodes, but I think the majority of them have already been done in my head. At least the bits that are important. Obviously, the show can be added on afterwards. That's true. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. How many episodes ahead are they actually getting? I always wonder, the TV magic. Do you ever wonder about the TV magic? I wonder about the TV magic. We've got two more left to go. In the same area that we've been driving around for the past 10 minutes. But it does seem like this is going to be a shorter episode than the others. Which, honestly, I don't really mind if it's not an hour. As long as you get the good bits in there. But they haven't had the jag for the centre. But this Amarok is really designed for... Yeah, we've got four more stages left to go. So this is actually one of the shorter episodes. In England, I mean, it's got a laptop charging point here and a leather steering wheel. I'm sure you need that kind of thing in Mongolia. Yeah, I think this is mostly made for bailiffs. <laughs> west, west, south, west for a bit, but avoiding that clump of trees. No way! You're not coming through. Oh no! The race is on. <laughs> See, this is what makes me think they were like, the why would they be running around the field and turning like this? TV magic. It's not doing so well nowadays, is it? I'm now in the lead. I'm doing winning. <laughs> and off we go. We're now actually oh, actually ahead. We, we can actually see Mr. Mr. Hammond behind us. Where are we going? This way. Oh my Christ! This is actually cool. This. 
This is a cool little race. I wasn't expecting to have a race like this. I was expecting to just be driving again. Be driving the car like I have been a million times. But no, I'm actually having a race in my V6 diesel. Oh, this is the life of a, a country boy like me. <laughs> no. This is not what I am. This is what everyone would love to do. With a vehicle like this, you would love to go off-roading and just... Is that a path? Because he is going faster. How is he going faster? He's got rubber banding. Rubber banding on the Grand Tour game. Wow. Wow. I am sorely disappointed. Craig Sullivan, I'm sure you should have learned by now. Do you think he's actually watched any? Are the developers have actually watched any of these? I hope so. That would be rather nice to know. Damn it. And here they are. Oh, how amazingly coincidental. Clang. Is that barrel gonna... They have too much money. I know it's probably a de decommissioned broken helicopter or something, but... To get it there, to get the rights to explode it. What on earth? I'm probably not going to get my Freedom Fighter badge now, am I, for that? What happened? Well, him! And any minute now, he's going to claim he won this one as well. He did win it! Oh, yeah. The barrel's just disappeared, I've noticed. We were told to <laughs> deliver fuel. We were told to detonate the nation's helicopter. Look at it! It's ruined. What is the budget for our show? Not smaller than it was. Yeah, not not big enough. It's quite a, that's an expensive thing. Yeah, helicopter. It's a helicopter. There are no cheap helicopters. <laughs> that one, I'll take it. It'll be a. Useless, it'll be it? cool for like a, an oh, airsoft it's place. It's a good truck. If you have to have a pickup truck at a time of strife in your country, this is proving to be the winner at everything. I may have prevented the war. How have you prevented the war? Well, the helicopter was there to stop the war by strafing the uprising villages. And no, you've just gone and no. so now the whole thing made it unbalanced, and we're going to lose. Chaos. Civil war is beginning. I like the little transition. It is like a stupid little comment, but I thought that's a brilliant transition. It is inevitable in the developing world that one day all pickups. I wonder how this is going to go. This one used as gun platforms. Yeah, is their destiny? to die on the battlefield. Yeah, I mean, every day you turn on the news and there's somebody standing in the back of a Toyota or a Nissan shooting at someone in a Humvee or a Land Rover. And what we want to know is how good will our European trucks be at that? Yeah, and most importantly, which one is best? To find out, yes, we're gonna find out. pickups would be driven through a ruined town by a freedom fighter. Hey, look, it's Grimsby. <laughs> I'm kidding. Whilst we stood on the back, shooting at various targets. These included some big barn doors, a whole bus, and a selection Paul of London bus. soldiers. James volunteered to go first. You can go right out to glory. Look at him. The soldier of fortune. <laughs> Dogs of war. Not scared of the spaniel of war is what it is. <laughs> okay, let's attempt to fire at things they've actually got a decent gun mechanic in the game i say decent it's barely passable as as anything but let's be real to be honest i'm already doing better than they did on the show this it seems like this one has had so many like uh, so many points in where the actual thing that happened in the show isn't happening in the episode there's a, there's a Come on, reload, reload, reload. I would be good with a gun on the back of the Mercedes. No one's ever said that ever. <laughs> because I think I'm actually possibly the first person to ever say that. Isn't that incredible? We're just shooting the, shooting the soldiers. I want to shoot the bus. I want to shoot the London bus. What a waste. All the barn doors, all of the bus, and all of the soldiers. So, with a score of zero to beat... See? Arnold Hammond and Ego was feeling very confident. They even mentioned that he got zero points. <laughs> James May rolled around and fell over and couldn't actually do anything. Welcome to Richard Hammond's usual weekend. And again, 
completely wrong to what was happening on the on the show. Interesting, very interesting. I do I do think that we should get to play with the other weapon that Clarkson is about to use too. As you may or not, may not know if you've been watching the series or watching the Grand Tour in general, you'll know that Clarkson, with guns, he goes some he goes a little bit different because he is what is he left-handed or something? Honestly, I don't know. He's left-handed, but the bullets, the used bullets, fly onto his arm and try and murder him. But obviously, I don't know anything about guns, so I'm not going to pretend. Come on! We're missing the people! The soldiers! Come on! Oh, he got the gold right at the end! I had a bit of gun trouble, I'll not lie. Well, here's some more news. Yes? General Stonewall Clarkson has gone off to get ready, but I suddenly remembered... You remember when we were in Jordan? Yeah. He can't fire automatic rifles. No. Do you remember? Because, because he's, uh, it's, it's, it's crossed over, isn't he? He's, yeah. he's right-handed. Right-handed. Yeah. But left-eyed. Yeah, so, so he, he shoots. So he shoots from his left side. Exactly, he's diagonal. Which means all the spent cartridges burn his arm. Exactly. Well, he'll be using a pistol, won't he? He always uses yes. a pistol. Actually, I don't I know anything about those, but uh, he was using something <laughs> a bit different. A 50 cal. Lock and load. Yes. Basically, they became Americans this episode. Oh my god. And why is the movement so slow? That was fantastic. Where's the rounds? Oh, we got the ammo indicator in the bottom right. So they should make an FPS instead. This has already been the best bit of gameplay they've had this episode. We had no jag. Instead, we drove a bubble wrapped car that wasn't a jag. We haven't had the chance still to drive a car that was missing from episode one, which is rather unfortunate. I hope they do add that in at some point to Senna. That would be super fun. And also the Jag now. The Jag is now number one of the list of vehicles I really, really need to drive before I will say that this game has made me very upset. I don't know. We've still got... F How many targets left? Have I missed some targets? I think I may have missed some. Here's one. Surely I've missed some. If not, this has been babified for me because all I'm doing is shooting cardboard men. I assumed I would be a little bit more challenged than that if I'm totally honest with you. Shoot him. Shoot him. Look at my shot. Auto aim what? I only need no auto aim. Oh. Oh. -ho -ho! Me and the 50 cal were like best friends. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, look at that. Gold. Perfect. That was like the perfect view of this ever. The perfect run of this ever. But that is all the scenes. Put to bed. Sharpshooter. Thank you very much. I'm getting all my trophies come through now. But as I said, this is the shorter of the episodes we've done so far because it is now the end. We've done the last yes! bit of gameplay. Another victory. How would you work that out? I hate to tell you this, but you haven't hit the doors, which were the target. How do you know I haven't hit the doors? Because I, there's no... Real... No context. Well, on that terrible disappointment for him, time to go back to the tent. No context for the, for the, for the life, for the females. No, no, no. Don't, don't clap. Don't clap. He killed a man. You jammed an AK-47. Well, Not on the game, we didn't. Unjammable. No one in history has ever jammed one until you came along. Yes, yes it overheated. That's because you were firing it into the air pointlessly when you set off. That's what they're for. Weddings, funerals, exam results. You go outside, fire AK in the air. It's, it's That's a That's exactly what thing. I do. They are the party popper of the developing world. <laughs> <laughs> So never mind all that. I have the, the scores. This uh, is the, the important final scores. Bit. Jeremy Clarkson, you fired 2,600 rounds. Mm -hmm. And, and he the number hit... of targets you hit was one. one. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh, but it's one more than him. Uh, it is. It is one more than you, so I'm winning. Wait, so hang on. It all boils down to uh, how many targets I hit. Yes, but you had a roll bar to hang on to. I did. Yep, yep he did.
and he scored. Yes. Naught. <laughs> right. He really got nothing. Yep. That's it. Okay, so after all of that, what is our... James's was hilarious on the actual show. One. Again, if you've not see, seen the, the actual is, episode yet, I would recommend you watch it. It did have a wobbly back end, and I just don't think that's good enough, actually, in a pickup truck. I really don't. Again, no but context behind that. You'll have no idea unless you watch the show. Pickup Basically, the truck tool, bent and it's just a bit too with the possible. barrels. Get into it in muddy boots. So I don't think that will work. So really. the American truck wouldn't do that. It is the cheapest. And it's, I think, the best looking. And it is actually the one I'd have. You'd have the Ford? Yeah. So and we'd both have the Ford. Have the Ford. Yeah. yeah, we'd have the Ford. James, what would you have? I wouldn't have a pickup truck. <laughs> yes, I, know, I agree with in, Mr. In James May. Pickup trucks, which one would you have? Which are you going for? None of them. I wouldn't have one. No, I know, but no, we're testing pickups. So which, which pickup truck of the three would you have? I wouldn't have a pickup <laughs> truck. <laughs> We've just spent, I don't know, 20 minutes reviewing these pickup trucks. <laughs> <laughs> much to know, which is best. Yes, I've come to a conclusion on behalf of the ladies and gentlemen, which is don't have a pickup truck. <laughs> James, you have a powerful imagination. Use it. Let's pretend. OK, come with me on a journey. We'll warm your imagination up. <laughs> Imagine you're an eagle. Okay. Just visualize that you're flying over mountains. Mm -hmm. Can you feel it? Can you feel if, the wind if, in your back? If it came down to it, yeah. OK, now... An American pickup truck, pick either truck. one. Which one is it? Why would an eagle Proper engine. <laughs> Accepts rubbish fuel. I mean, imagine. Okay, let's. let's try, okay, imagine James. But if it was a pastor, if Brexit ever did ruin ruin like the country, civil war. Grassy hills, a few yeah. sheep around. You're a farm. I would use a skyline. I don't need anything here, more. <laughs> sheep all around you. Can I have Beethoven? Beethoven I would vlog it. That would be a cool, obviously. cool video series. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I can't say it. If you're in a developed country, over the gate, and under the ignore me. Is your farmer's pickup truck? Which one is it? It's not there. I wouldn't have a because I wouldn't have a pickup truck. No, this is anybody else. You even have a in your imagination. My imagination does not admit a pickup truck. I'm not being stubborn. I know my mind. Yes, but I don't want I a pickup truck. And what I know is that you've wasted so much time not choosing a pickup truck and claiming that the Battle of Britain was a draw that we don't have time for the big celebrity duel between oh, no. Adrian Charles and Howard from the Halifax ads. Oh, no. Exactly. Then on that terrible disappointment, we must end. Thank you so much. I for hope that in the last Good episode night. they actually have the, 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 the guests on. But there you go. That is this week's episode of The Grand Tour. The Jag was unplayable, disappointed. It was a decent episode. I still think episode one was my favorite of the series so far. Let me know down in the comments what you think, if I should keep doing these. I don't know. I'll see you next time. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you're new, and, and um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.